gefolgt von Jim Wong. Und da sind wir die zwei, drei, vier und fünf Lichter. Hoffentlich geht diesmal alles gut beim zweiten Neustart des Rennens. Und wir sind unterwegs. Alles Herr Naju mit einem guten Start. Jim Wong aber in oh, den Okay, yeah, we can go back to English, I think. Oh god. Yeah, that, that was horrible. No, it was fine. even worse in German because I was just falling. No, it's and, great. And, and, and it didn't no, it did it, it felt really unnatural. Okay. But we did we only followed by Jim Wong and S Fade and of course Alexander and Jim Wong having to scramble into the first turns. Um so yeah, then we have the two Alpha Torres of the M guy and TJD right back in the back behind Alexander up. So we already see I think I think Alex Bob actually made up some good ground. Let me just get up the Mark for touch what happened to Mark? Straight entrance. Yeah exactly Alex Bot up, up, up four positions but guess what AMS Dark ten positions gained on this virtual safety car. What a drive to survive right there. He's done a Lewis Hamilton. Yeah so we do got the virtual safety car and there we have the confirmation AMS Dark it's only lap 3 or 33. We are still waiting for the safety car to come in. As I'm just saying that I'm commentating cursing now this, the virtual safety car. Oh. However, that happens. I don't know. That's Jada, now we... activated, believe it or not, on this lap. Yeah, of course, the, the DRS time frame not disabled by the Pretty virtual sure safety car. driver on Mr. Yeah, and Mr. Alex Buddy himself, Mr. Friendly, Mr. The Brit that we all love. Yeah, a oh, massive amount of pressure right now. What's Alex going to do here? Apparently no, but what I can tell you is that Bottle Trash is creating a, a, a trainer really. So Sandy Baggy trying to overtake low 10%. Is anyone trying to get a move on? Not right. But no, I can see Sandy Baggy has overtaken Bottle Trash. So that is Sandy Baggy now into the points position behind Bottle Trash, Jedi Wooder and Dave Liestel. Positions here. Now, the jet, remember, Sandy Baggy is the only one right now. It looks like another position change. Back oh. speed 11, 12. Here we go. Yeah, I, I just wanted to cut away from that, but now it's getting really close for... Oh, oh massive beautifully contact! Out. But no! And they don't want to let him get any more points in this race right now. And Jim Wong has a defender in his life because that Ferrari is if they say me quick. Trying to go for the dummy, but I have to say now, of course, has the benefit of DRS not deploying any ears, as you can see on the steering wheel. Maybe he wants to go for a move, but chooses not going too defensive right now but parks it in the middle of the track really difficult now for f Sane to make any moves and that jim wong's the exit of all exits and look at the speed difference he's going to have before the drs activation jim wong is in big trouble here yeah f Sane opening up that big rear wing to give him that extra straight line speed and f Sane doesn't even need to call so both the alpha tories are really tucked up behind the williams that's a battle for p9 p10 and p11 currently at the moment yeah, so both top teams not doing too great. So William is struggling with Jim Wong. Oh, that oh, Jedi Wooda. Yeah, Jedi Wooda. Yeah. Uh, He's gone to the dark side, unfortunately. He's not a <laughs> Jedi just yet. But sorry, Jim Wong trying to overtake s Fane around the outside. Oh, guys. About it's close. Seconds down the road. It's 21 seconds for a pit stop. So obviously the Ferrari drivers will cover him off quite easily. But we'll see it later on how that will come to play. Yeah, of course. We, we do not. Down the road and commanding lead of this race. However, nursing a three-second penalty is something he's going to be thinking about. Yeah. So, someone... Yeah, Jim Wong. As he, yeah, sorry, go on. No, you're right. I'm saying the softs at the moment getting around 50%. So, yeah, you get to 55 to 60, then you start getting in trouble a little bit. Uh, okay, who's getting in trouble? Maybe it's the M guy now getting overtaken. So, that was um, cleaner than the attempt before by TJD. So TJD now finally moving up into P4. Myatt. He is looking to have his national anthem played on the top step of this race if he wins it. Yeah, and of course, we already seen a virtual safety car. So no, we wouldn't be going for the safe move. Front's toss likes this. And um, just quickly looking in the chat. Yes, the M guy is on a controller. If that's a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller, I cannot tell you. Like, okay, fine. It's all right. Don't worry. Don't panic. Alex has it all under control in the McLaren. Has it all under control. Meanwhile, we are still no waiting. Box. You've got to be indication to the rest of the teams. Box, box, box. Because we're seeing mistakes now from these drivers. And these aren't, these aren't any drivers. These are fantastic, great drivers that have pace. Staying out. Yeah, 
They're absolutely mad. Look at this battle at the head as well, too. Mr. Dark is going to put a challenge right now. He's like, my friends, these medium tires, they got to drive around the outside of everybody on the planet and just makes DM eating DM for breakfast. Single lap while everybody else is struggling for grip. Now, obviously, his tires are going to be soft towards the end and he'll have to do a few overtakes. But then again, you know, here we go. Jim Wong's boxing. So, yeah, this is the call right now. Is this going to be the master strategy called by the Alpine team? We'll find out. Uh, it's it's gone from way from from bad to worse as well for Hayden Gillis and the Red Bull team. We just got the confirmation uh, from Retainius that Hayden accidentally pitted onto the hard tires. Ah, uh, Wizex. Yeah. So that's looking good for the Ferrari driver. But of course, he still has to make up ground. Those three seconds before we even get to the straight, Sandy Bang is still not pitting, but low on your ass. But crucially gets the DRS from the car in front. I sadly don't remember uh, remember who it was. I think it was Weezy. And oh, that's Driving too close to come. Too defensive. David Lee going for the inside move. He can get us breaking late. Or tries tries to go for the switchback, but doesn't. David Lee shuts the door on Hayden Gillis. Hard but fair. But David Lee now he stays time penalty. So something he surely cannot. Yeah. And then Lee's yeah, boxing. Alex leave. is finally boxing. I think we can get a round of applause for that after <laughs> 17 laps. Yeah, I mean, guy is still going on. DM guy with two laps, younger tires. Still trying to overtake TJD and TJD, of course, crucially again on low ERS. So not the best of ERS manager. Man uh, man those guys that have already boxed. Uh, so DM guy now going up the inside of TJD, being forced off the track and then the M guy gets a three second time penalty for multiple warnings so from the Alfa Romeo look at the grip difference look at the traction he's got the power down he's got to drive around the outside here it's gonna be bold and brave we didn't get to happen he's got to lift he's gonna have maybe he got a little bit too close of Hayden maybe a bit too and DM greedy. guy putting a lot of pressure right now on Sandy Baggy sorry to cut you off with that one look at this for P4 and his teammates in play remember TJD he's got it he's got the job TJD. done uh, that was close because remember DM guy one lap earlier got the three second time penalty and if DM uh, TJD wants to overtake DM guy it doesn't have to be this way uh, saying, okay my friend don't make a mistake oh 19 so, laps and he bag is in massive trouble a uh, beautiful overtake meanwhile by he wants to go for the hearts to soft it will be an ambitious uh, strategy call but if he can pull it up like as F saying, doing with TJD on the out inside, it's now up to 6.7. So Jim Wong clearly doesn't have the pace advantage. So is it maybe even possible for DM guy, for F saying, for TJD to catch up to oh, he's Jim got Wong? It. Oh, that's going to be a very good pit stop there for the Alpine driver because he did not want to be stuck behind him. Now he's got the soft tires and check out that Delta. Five seconds to Jim Wong. He's going to be closing fast and thick with 10 laps to go. Uh, I think that's going stopped. to change now. It's we Weasley and Hayden getting really close on track. But what I wanted to say with that sentence is Jim Wong not getting too affected if he loses another point uh, place finish in the championship. Right now is he's nursing two warnings. So if Dark picks up one more warning, that's a three second deficit and that's game over at this level. Meanwhile, Sandy so, Bag, we see the young guy struggling with the control, tr tr struggling to really get the powder as one of the houses, I think, that is spinning out of turn 30. I want to give that DHL penalty award. But yeah, it's only threes <laughs> at the moment, but there are drivers nursing warnings, so they have to be careful. So can Afsane make the move on the M guy? It's going to be late. It's too late! Oh. And I've saved him, so he won't get a penalty. We're still, um, I'm still waiting for the clip of you uh, yeah, doing the race start in German. I didn't see that. I'm disappointed. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I disable clips. Who knows? Jim Wong in his targets. And that's what you want as a driver, is that boost your confidence. It's like, okay, there he is. There he is. Where can I get? Where is he making the mistakes? Where can I gain the advantage? I had the boots. I had the pace. And I want a P2. Bit of time to go here, although low fuel, fresh boots. But yeah, Jim Wong is going to be feeling the pressure right now. What is Jim Wong going to do, guys, out there in the Twitch world? Can he defend? Oh, oh. to win a race from the last place of the grid is got to be the best moment in your life. 
So let's see if Jim won't got them. And then you do it somehow where I don't risk just cutting the corners a little bit and then getting slapped a three second penalty. That's going to be tight, isn't it? You can see how much more traction Dark has over Jim Wong. But again, All around superior on the traction. And Amos Stock maybe not even needing the straight. Trying to get around the odd side of the penultimate cut. Even on the finish line where Amos Stock overtake Jim Wong. Easy as that, simple as you want. Smally gets a three second time penalty, but that doesn't concern Amos Stock. That's something you put up on your wall as a trophy. That's something you frame. And welcome everybody to PPR Esports, because this is the level of competition you expect with all the tiers in our racing division. Exactly. Meanwhile, we have... And that is something that Mr. Dark is, is very much aware of. Dark is now doing 1 minute 17s, like 1 minute 18s, let's say. We're looking at Alexander doing 1 minute 20s. So he's shaving almost 2 seconds of lap here. Definitely. He's just dominated this race for Ferrari. Yeah, but, but of course, Amos Dog, we have talked about this multiple times now, um, has also has to be aware of his warnings tally so he can't afford to yeah, get any Wong has to do a miracle to get past mr dark yeah so um meanwhile we see sandy Bay and dark chocolate fighting it out on track this is got to be close but not too close smally getting past Dirk chocolate so i think one of them pitted actually but I just wanted to punch a penalty situation quickly. We did see the M guy getting another three second time penalty. So that means there's always oh, Smalley. Smalley and Sandy Beggy, the both off, hey. off remote. Smalley and Sandy Beggy, the both off, off remote. Screw the penalties. Uh, the both Alfa Romeo drivers getting really comfortable with each other. Maybe too comfortable. You are still on the same team. We, th we have the same situations as with the Alpha Toy drivers. You can see the jiggle on the steering wheel. He is frustrated with himself. Wanted to go for a move down the second gear straight out of turn four. Just got a bit of little snap of oversteer. And that's his chance gone. I think F Saint is going for the move now. TJD not defending too hard because he knows he doesn't have to defend too hard. He will finish ahead of oh, F-Sane. line right now. No, he hasn't, my friend. He's just slowing down to wave to his pit crew. He's won this race. Fantastic. P20 to P2. Drive to survive, Mr. Netflix. Drive to survive. And look at that. Ha, ride that pony for the Swedish <laughs> driver. Good on you. The Ferrari has dominated this race. See, it all closes.